Are you dehydrating your brain? Because the brain can get dehydrated just like the whole rest of your body can. For every organ in the body, including the brain, we need enough hydration. After all, we are mostly water. And we need enough of that water to keep things flowing. So here's the thing. I knew the importance of hydration, but I actually don't like to drink a lot of water myself. So sometimes when that's the case, we have to find ways of getting that hydration in, in a way that's healthy and actually hydrating. For me, I like to use some of the non-caffeinated herbal teas. It flavors the water for me in a way that I really like, and then I have no problem getting enough in. For you, it might be something different. However, not all types of fluids are created equally. I recently had a patient come in who really looked dehydrated, and some of his labs showed a mild dehydration. Yet he said to me, that's impossible. I drink a lot. I drink so much, I can't be dehydrated. So then we had a discussion about what is he drinking? Now, he's somebody that likes to exercise, which is great. I encourage it. But he drinks a lot of these sports drinks. And the ones that he chooses, when we took a look at them online and looked at the ingredients, have a lot of caffeine. In fact, they're touted as giving you energy. Most of these drinks that say energy on them, what the energy is, is caffeine. What's the problem here? A couple of things. First, the caffeine has a diuretic effect. What that means is you're losing the water more than actually the water you're taking in in the beverage. What he noticed is he's going to the bathroom a lot, which is common when you're drinking these types of beverages because the water is actually being excreted out. And in his case, there was a net loss of fluids, despite the fact that he was drinking cans of this stuff throughout the day. So what we did is we switched him to more hydrating fluids. In fact, he was fine with actually drinking just water and some other things throughout the day. And what he noticed was that some of that sluggishness in his thinking reversed. So the so-called energy drinks with all that caffeine over time, weren't really making his brain feel energized. He was acclimating to that. Once he got used to a lower amount of caffeine and being more hydrated, his brain actually worked better. So when the brain and body are dehydrated, you can feel sluggish, have a little bit of that brain fog that people complain about. It can be subtle, but over time have an additive or cumulative effect. Just like the other organs of the body have a lot of water, we could say mostly water, the same is true of the brain, and also water is flowing throughout the brain. So we wanna make sure that we're not dehydrating. And the other thing is there can be mild changes or gradients in the electrolytes in the body and in the brain, and that can affect function and health. So here's the thing, think eight or so 12 ounce glasses of water a day, and also think about how you drink them. So for example, if you like to carry around a water bottle with a straw in it, a wider straw actually helps you to drink more and get in the amount that you really need. So for example, when I drink a couple of these a day with a nice wide straw, I get most of my requirements in. An important thing to keep in mind is that over time, as you deprive your body enough fluid through drinking, your body gets used to getting that fluid it needs by extracting it from the food. And then what happens is your body registers that it's hungry when you're really thirsty. So staying hydrated is also a way of helping you to maintain a good, healthy weight. People often ask about the quality of the water. Is it okay from the tap? Is it better to have bottled? And so the answer is variable because not all tap water is terrible, and not all bottled water is great. However, as a general rule, if you're drinking your water from the tap, it's good to have a filtration system. There's many that work really well and get a lot of the debris and harmful things out of the water that might be in it. When you're drinking bottled water, now this isn't always possible, but when it is, glass is better than plastic because sometimes if it's a lower grade plastic or if it's been in heat, some of that plastic leaches into the water and so then it isn't such a pure water source after all. For me personally, I like to kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. In the morning, I like to make a big smoothie. 
I get a lot of good water and hydration in me, and I also get my greens in. So what I really love is a, a vegan plant-based protein powder that I use, and I add some ice to that. I'll either add more water or some unsweetened milk alternative that's mostly water and then my protein powder, and very often I'll add some greens to that as well. That combination gives me nutrients, stabilizes my blood sugar, and hydrates me first thing. Another trick for me personally is I find it soothing to have some herbal tea throughout the day. A few cups of that, and I'm closer to my goal. And also, soda is not a great hydrator. Oftentimes there's a lot of caffeine, so it's dehydrating. And on top of that, you're slowly leeching your bones of the things that it needs. It's overall problematic whether it's the sugary soda that's causing the big blood sugar ups and downs, but also the artificially sweetened soda is more and more linked to diseases, including cognitive health. So how much are you drinking every day? And any tips for others to get that hydration in?